Hey everyone, so I really really hope that I'm in focus. It's hard for me to see because my camera's so far away. Um, but I hope I'm in focus. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. You guys know I have trouble sometimes and every time I think that I have it under control, I don't. So I digress. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my worst hair salon experience. I love watching these videos on YouTube. Like I love seeing people's like hair horror stories, especially as a hairstylist. I think it's like so amusing and so funny. And I do have Godfrey here if you do see him popping up and making noises. He is on our bed today. So let me preface this with I started doing my own hair when I was 14. R really I kind of started when I was 12. That's when I started dabbling but I really started doing my own hair when I was 14. Um, since I was 14 to the age of 16, from 14 to 16, I probably went to a hair salon maybe three or four times only. Um, so I barely ever went to a salon. I always did my own hair. And since I've been a hairstylist, I've always done my own hair. Also, um, I haven't been to a salon since I was 16 because that's when I got my hair permit. And when I was 17, I got my hair license. So I've been doing my own hair for a really long time. And you know, when, when I was younger, I, I did make some mistakes um, on myself, but usually it was stuff I was able to fix. But when I was 15, I had my hair, like I had like the typical scene hair. So it was like a blonde on top, black underneath, like really like short and spiky blonde with like long black pieces underneath and then like black underneath my bangs. Like I liked it so that I had black under my bangs, but there was blonde over top of it. I'm going to try and post a picture here. So I was doing it myself. Um, I was doing it with box dye because that's all I knew but it always came out really good, especially considering I was doing it myself, I was doing the coontails and everything, and it always came out like really good for a 15 year old, you know what I mean? Um, people always ask me like who did my hair, and I was always like, it was me, like I was cutting it, I was doing everything. But accidents happen, and I one day was just touching up my hair, touching up the black, touching up the blonde, and he's so distracting sometimes because he's so cute. And as I was rinsing it out, the black washed into the blonde and turned like a blue-gray color. Um, so I had like these blue-gray streaks like in the front of my hair and I did not want blue hair. The gray, I didn't want either at the time because I still wanted my hair to be like, I wanted like a kind of like a medium golden blonde, like a natural sort of looking blonde. I didn't want any like white, silver, gray at this time. So when it turned gray, I was like panicking because if you don't want gray hair, it's like really, really scary or blue too. Like I did not want blue hair. So I was panicking and I didn't know what to do. And my mom was like, listen, like I'm going to make you an appointment at like this really really top salon. They have a color specialist and a color correction specialist specialist, and they're going to just like fix this up for you and you know just be more careful next time like you know whatever. I went in and this woman was shaking like she had no idea what to do to get the the gray blue out of my hair. And I told her I was like yeah I want it exactly how it is. I just want to get rid of like these gray blue pieces. And she was like, well, how about we do it brown? How about we just do everything brown? And I was like, um, no, like I want it black and blonde. And she did not understand like wanting black and blonde. Like she, that was like such a foreign thing. She had never heard of before. She didn't understand wanting black and blonde. She was like, well, what about brown and blonde? And I'm like, no, I kind of, I just want like what I have, just correct these pieces. It was really, really hard to explain to her what I wanted. She was like much older and not to say like if you're older, you can't understand like what's in, but she didn't, like she was just out of it. Like to me, I feel like I will always be up on like the trends and what's in style, but she was the kind of person that was definitely stuck like in old ways. So she did not understand it. She just didn't get it, but she was their color correction specialist. So I thought, you know, she would figure out how to do it. Um, I was in the salon for hours. She colored my hair. I don't know why she did this. I don't know why she did this. She tried to bleach out some of the, the blue gray pieces and then tried to cover some of them with black. So instead of just like touching those pieces, she bleached my entire, like the entire top of my head till it was white and I did not want white hair. Looking back, like the white part looked good, the rest not so much. But 
she bleached the entire thing white i wanted a medium blonde she bleached it all white i had the black and then she covered up some of the black in the front some of the gray in the front with black so originally i went in having like the blonde over the black and now i just had two giant black chunks in the front of my face which did not look good two giant black chunks and then two super dark gray chunks behind it for where she i don't know what i don't know what she did she was trying to bleach some of them out trying to cover them up but she couldn't bleach it out so i left with more gray than i came in with and and a different hair color than what i asked for and this cost me literally four hundred dollars so my mom complained she got like some of her money back or something like that but it was just like such a bad experience and to me especially being a hairstylist now if you know something can't be done or if you're not sure if it's going to come out you have to tell the person you can't just do whatever you want and hope for the best like you have to tell the person look this may not work these are our options this that it's not hard so what literally like these two pieces i had like here except there was like side bangs were just black just huge black chunks then like this dark blue gray stripe behind it then white hair and then black underneath and it, it was not cute like it wasn't it wasn't intentional i don't i wish i had pictures but i don't so i i left looking worse than i came in and when i got home i ended up just buying a color remover and fixing it myself so um from that moment on i was like you know what i'm i'm doing my own hair i don't care i can fix any mistakes that i make on my own and it's kind of what helped shape me to become a hairstylist actually because i liked experimenting on myself and fixing problems and now i actually am awesome at color correction and i do it quite often um, on my clients so that's just my personal worst hair salon experience um it it really left like a bad taste in my mouth for going to salons and i don't want anyone to think that this is like a common thing but a word of advice maybe some advice you could get out of this communicate with your hairstylist tell them what what you want and if they don't understand tell them listen i don't think you understand what i want is there another stylist that i could talk to is there a manager i could talk to or maybe like i'm just gonna leave you know um or if they do your hair and it's not how you want just be like hey listen um maybe could you do something about this is that this isn't exactly what i was expecting but what well, communicate definitely communicate because sometimes all it is is a lack of communication but sometimes like with this woman it was just uh just she didn't understand and didn't have the skill quite frankly to fix it when the, it wasn't that difficult of a fix at all so that's my worst hair salon experience um i love watching these videos and i hope you enjoyed watching mine stay sassy i'll talk to you guys soon